going on, folks? Hope you guys are having a good day. It's frigid and cold out here in Chicago. Hope it's warm wherever you guys are at. Uh, I posted um, a question on, on the community's forum about uh, uh, the drops. Drops going to the house. Um, like your phone drop, your cable drop. And the question is, how would you locate that drop from the house to the pad? Would you, number one, ring clamp it, or number two, direct connect to that drop? And a few people um, already ants, um, clicked on that poll, and you got a couple people saying ring clamp. A few people said direct connect to it. Well, I'm honored to tell you that the folks, they say ring clamp, that's the wrong answer. You never, ever want to ring clamp a drop. You know, you're ring clamping a drop. The problem is by ring clamping a drop, you cannot use the lowest frequency. On a ring clamp, the lowest frequency you could possibly use on a ring clamp, unless you're using something else besides the RDs, that with the RDs, the lowest frequency you could possibly use on a clamp is 8 kilohertz. 8 kilohertz. That's the lowest. So by using a high frequency on a small little thin piece of, uh, I call it a pencil, the size of a pencil, a drop, size, maybe half, maybe smaller than the pencil. By ring clamping that, you're putting so much voltage, so much current on that drop, you're bleeding on to other utilities. There's no way you can pick up that drop. If you got, if you Thinking you're ring clamping a drop and you're located at drop, you better you better double. double check that because most likely you might be beating, bleeding out to the electric line that's right there that where the drop enters. It's probably the secondary that goes to the house. You're probably marking that out versus marking the drop, thinking that you're on the drop, but most likely you're marking out the electric line. Because of the current you're pushing out, you're pushing way too much current, and you're just bleeding out. You're just bleeding over onto something else. And for you folks that's out there that located traps by ring clamping it, you got lucky. I mean, it doesn't. You won't get lucky all this time, you know. And you got to ask yourself, how many damages you got? You hit orange paint over the electric, and it's not running with the electric. It's um, three, three, four feet away. You know, how many times, how many drop hits should you have? You have to question yourself that. So, you just never, ever re-clamp a drop. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's not the right way. The best method is always direct connect. Direct connect been the best method ever since we started locating. It was direct, well, before that, it was the radios, AM radio and all that. But after, when technology got built up, it was direct connect to it. You're putting your current on directly on a cable by direct connecting to it. Then with technology, you know, got up, they invented a ring clamp. And a purpose for a ring clamp is for cables that you cannot direct connect. Like a phone line, a 3600 pair cable. It's, it's, it's one long cable. You cannot direct connect to it unless you peel back the sheeting, which you shouldn't. Because that's a high-profile cable. you got to ring clamp that to get your tone. You know, that's why the ring clamps came up for the bigger utilities that you could put a tone on it, and the tone would travel quite a ways. But for, for, but for drops going to a house, <laughs> you always want to direct connect to that drop. You never want to ring clamp that drop. I mean, it just, it's just, it's the wrong way. So if you the folks out, for, for you guys out there that's ring clamping a drop, you got to question yourself. How many times did you get a damage by ring clamping it? Go back and look. You guys, you folks out there know, you folks out there know who you are, the damages you got, you know, and that's the reason why, because you're ring clamping a drop and you got those damages. So stop ring clamping. Direct connect. And when you're direct connected to a cable drop or a phone drop, make sure it's unbonded. Unbonded by the common ground or unbonded wherever that little wire's going. Unbond that. Because if that's bonded onto a common ground and the power's grounded on the same ground, most likely you go pick up the power too. So guys, anytime you go out there, make sure that you direct connect to it. 
Make sure it's unbonded so it's not grounded to any other utilities and you should have a, get a beautiful tone. Your middle amp should be high, nice and high and that, that cable should sing to you on, on the receiver all the way out to the pedestal wherever it's taking you folks. You guys have a good day and we'll see you next time.